Every year, scientists are fascinated by the incredible mass migration of the monarch butterflies as they travel from northern North America to Mexico. Over 300 million butterflies participate in this journey of over 2,000 miles. Let's now embark on the journey as one butterfly travels from North America to Mexico. The evolutionary history of monarch butterflies show that they were migratory species originating in southern North America and Mexico that then dispersed worldwide and have now established several distinct populations. This map shows three separate dispersal events leading to the formation of populations in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Central America. The North American monarch butterflies known as Danaus plexippus differ from other Danaus populations because of their mass migration. In the winter, they leave North America and travel to Mexico in order to avoid the harsh winter conditions and then return in the spring. So why is it that the Danaus plexippus species migrate, whereas the other Danaus populations do not? Marcus Kronfurst and his other colleagues from the University of Chicago decided to investigate this magnificent phenomenon. They sampled 101 butterflies, 92 of the Janaus plexippus, and 9 of the other 4 Janaus species, and analyzed them by identifying differences in genome, which can be done via the population branch statistic. The results of Marcus Kronforst's studies showed that out of the 500 genes that were identified, there was a significant difference in one gene called collagen 4 alpha 1 between the migratory Janaus plexippus and the other non migratory Janaus butterflies. Collagen is the main structural protein of various connective tissues in animals. The research suggests that this difference in the expression of the collagen gene affects the flight efficiency and metabolism of the butterflies. Migratory species express less of the collagen gene due to the benefits of light muscles and less oxygen consumption, which allows them to travel such far distances. Take a look at this figure from Kronforce's study. This graph is displaying certain sections of the genome of multiple species of monarch butterflies. Notice the region that is slightly shaded. This region codes for the collagen 4 alpha protein. This figure shows that there is a spike in linkage disequilibrium for this section of the genome. This means that there is a difference in the locus between North American monarchs and the rest of the monarchs. Now take a look at these graphs which show the phenomenon explained previously. The graph on the left shows that in the migratory butterflies, the expression of the collagen 4 protein is greatly reduced compared to the non-migratory butterflies. The graph on the right shows how the metabolic rate of the migratory butterflies is much less than the non-migratory butterflies. Kronfors believes that it is the reduced expression of the collagen 4 protein that causes the reduced metabolic rate, which allows the migratory butterflies to make such vast migrations. <laughs> 